Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the monthly intuitive reading for the Element of Fire for October 2024. The Element of Fire covers the zodiac signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So if you're an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you have fire high up in your chart, this video is for you. Uh, if you're curious as to what your elemental alignment could be, there is a natal chart in the description, um, and it gives you your base birth chart with the different planets and the 12 houses, and then it goes through a 10 to 20 page, depending on what's in there, um, description and detailed analysis of what that is. Uh, and it also gives you your elemental um, alignment. What is really cool, and I'm not sponsored by them, is there's just so much information and it is extremely accurate as far as that goes. So something to check out if you're interested. Uh, with that, we'll get started with our I Ching hexagram. And I read intuitively, so we'll go through the little quotes and then see how it source uh, has to <laughs> add to them. Uh, you have number hexagram 30 for fire of October, and it is flaming beauty. So this could be that fire stands out this month. Uh, we have um, flaming beauty. Righteous persistence brings reward success, rearing cows and good fortune. So right off the bat, just from this, um, the overall theme here, fire this looks like it's going to be your month it's going to be some work involved rearing cows is not easy but when you're doing that kind of work the reward at the end is successful now if you talk to some ranchers they'll tell you otherwise but, but that's the concept is what you're doing is actually a long-term game but you're seeing the rewards of it now which is interesting because if you work in the cattle industry you'll start having a lot of your selling starting in october so this could be the reward coming in for all the work that you've put in so let's see what else we got here our foundation line down here oops on the bottom is approaching with reverent steps he pays for them with his respects no errors whatever you do do so in a humble and spiritual aspect to your life when you uh, approach with reverent steps this means you're not coming in with ego you're not coming in bombastic and I'm gonna control this thing you're coming in with humility of I've learned a lot I have a lot to learn I'm still going I'm still doing but this is where I'm at and it's not with ego it's simple statements uh, you pay them his respects no error so you're paying the respects to those who have trained you those who are above you whether that's god source divine or it's someone senior in whatever area of life that you're looking at you're remembering to be grateful for the people who have went before and have trained you so that's your foundation that's a powerful foundation our second line yellow sunlight sublime good fortune yellow is a joyful color overall and when you have yellow sunlight sublime good fortune it's just overall going to be a positive month. There might be some downtime. That's just life. But the sun is shining on you, and the yellow, what I'm hearing is this is that gentle fall yellow. It's that yellow of just feeling warm, feeling at peace, where you can just be outside, and you might need a jacket, but you don't have to have it. And you're just kind of quiet inside. It's not like there's a lot of chaos going on. It's just more peaceful. So our third line... In the light of the setting sun, young men do not beat upon their cooking pots or sing. The old side piteously misfortune. So even though everything is looking really good, again, they're saying don't be loud or boisterous. Um, the young men pounding on their pots or singing. That's where that ego comes in of like, look, look how good I am. I got this all. No, you don't. Calm down. <laughs> And the old man sighed piteously, like, if they only knew, like, you're living your best years right now enough, calm down, enjoy the moment is what I'm getting from this. And that's where that misfortune comes in. When you tie the ego and allow it to, or not tie, when you allow the ego to run forward and run rampant and control the show, it doesn't always go well. The ego is a tool. There's no way to kill it. That's not how that works. But getting it under control where it's in check is important and that's what's uh, being brought forward here but overall fire you've got this <laughs> um, our fourth place line how sudden it's coming 
then with flame-like swiftness it is dead and cast away. The ego will flare up, make a big scene, cause a lot of chaos, and then disappear and you have to deal with the rest of it. That's what the, it's kind of like a heads up, like just, things are going really good for you, but don't let that go to your head is what I'm hearing. Because yeah, they're going great now, store up while you can, build what you can while you have the positive juju working with you. If it happens to slow down, pump the brakes, see where you're at, see what needs to be shored up, because you know, you're never, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> Our fifth place line, his tears streamed forth as no extinguished to his piteous size good fortune. When you are going through tough times, there's times where you just, the emotions overtake you and you have to vent them some way, do it healthy, and that's where the improvement is. What this is saying is, even if you can't do it on your own, there's someone who else who can help you. His tears streamed forth long as to extinguish his piteous sighs, but that's good fortune. That means you actually, you allow yourself, have your moment, you got it out, and now you're going to go find someone who actually knows how to complete whatever project you're starting, knows one, knows someone to seal the deal. They kept showing me uh, images. And when you're doing that, that's where the good fortune comes back to you because you can do a lot. Do not get me wrong. Anything you put your mind to, you're going to be able to succeed. The trick is you may miss a step or two or you may not understand a process. That's where having someone who's been there, done that is going to be very beneficial this month. I mean, in general, but this month for fire. <laughs> uh, the, ki the capstone here, the king went forth to set things to rights and blessed by heavens with victory. He destroyed the leader of the rebels, but he did not chastise the rebel followers. No error. The person that you're asking for help is coming in to destroy the rebels, the, the thoughts and energies that are working against you. Could be the things in your own head too, where someone's just calling you out being like, okay, <laughs> enough. And it's not to say that you're doing anything wrong. It's not to say that there's anything bad going on. The rebels are things that are contrary to what your goal is, what your dream is, what your ambitions are. That could be something that would be hugely beneficial for somebody else. So it's not an evil energy that we're getting here. This is an energy that's not aligned with you. The king, that higher person, that God source divine, or it could be a physical leader or um, master of their department, is coming in to say, okay, you're doing great. This is the part you're missing. Let me help you through that. And that's conquering that fear. It's conquering that challenge. And with that coming forward, you're actually going to keep yourself rolling with that positive energy. Fire, this month is, just from the I Ching anyway, is very positive month for you. October is going to be very rewarding as long as the ego stays in check and you're not afraid to ask for help. That's the one thing that they're wanting to emphasize is don't be afraid to ask for help. There's no, there's no success in constantly struggling to try to figure something out. Allow the universe to bring the tools thoughts, deeds, and people into your life that will benefit you. And when they show up, accept with gratitude and return the knowledge in a future time in the same spirit. So it's one of those things where you're constantly in a give and take energy. So with that, we're going to switch over to the tarot mid, mid reading break here. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions, as long as we're respectful. I think that's all we can ask for, right? And with that, we'll hop into our tarot and oracle card. I read week to week, and there are four and a half weeks. We're going to give a five-week reading for October. Uh, we read a guide or a guardian for each week, a message from source, and a lesson or a challenge from the tarot. Uh, if you're new here, guide or guardian, it's someone to guide you through the week or an energy to guard you from <laughs> the unknown that might be popping up message from source is pretty straightforward it's positive reinforcement and a support that you may need and a lesson or challenge from the tarot is a lesson to work on that week or something that may be coming in as a challenge to help you grow spiritually um, I read first through the last of the month if the weeks happen to rearrange that happens too um, and if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, you can leave it for somebody else because I'm sure that's a message for someone. <laughs> and your first first weeks 
guide or guardian is the angel bath coal and aquamarine is your stone it's your authentic voice this one's a weird one because the message is on the back uh my authentic voice awakens truth clarity courage within myself and others my voice supports the opening of my soul path i trust the truth expressed with love with love brings spiritual benefits to all beings the authentic messages from my soul shared with generosity and grace are recognized and received my soul wisdom knows how to express what needs to be shared effectively and for the highest good of all i accept and express the uniqueness of my authentic voice and tune into what resonates deeply for me i choose to live the truth of my soul fire this first week you have a very powerful stone as a guide which is aquamarine it's a very subtle stone it's usually tied to water so this is not <laughs> probably not one of your, your more comfortable energies but what it's saying is is as you go through this week be aware of the deeper spiritual meanings of life and act in a way that is high ethics and high morals so it's not so much just the business co concept it is those inte showing integrity in everything that you do holding that moral compass to yourself and being like okay if i do this how is someone else going to perceive that this week first week is really saying you as an ener energy being within this planet you are here as an example and this week is time to just make sure where you're at it's not saying right wrong or indifferent just see where you're at is there anything that you need to work on and improve and aquamarine is a great stone to help you get into that spiritual state where you can see and understand those more subtle parts of your awareness so your message from source is the lady of the lake new beginnings something is about to happen you have a divine feminine energy and aquamarine is also divine feminine energy stepping forward saying i am willing to help guide you through whatever is coming i am here to help support you there is new energies there's new positivity what is it that you want to co-create this month so you have a very powerful first week going on here let's take a peek at what the tarot has to say but the lady of the lake when you work with this energy she's not a goddess in traditional form at least not how i see her she is the high priestess she is an immortal but she is the high priestess of the goddess she is the mistress of avalon she is the one who controlled camelot in a certain extent but you have a lot of energy backing her her word holds power so to have her come forward to say what can we do to help there's some new things coming on what tools do you need take advantage of that your Lesson or challenge from Tarot is the Queen of Water, tender-hearted, empathic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. Fire this first week is going to be a little bit uncomfortable in one sense because it is not a bombastic week. It is not a week of how much Mars masculine energy do we have? This week is saying it's time to just be quiet. You have a lot of good things going on. Spirit is really saying, what do you need? And it's the reason that they're asking is this is a week to check in. You have a lot of feminine energy. You have a lot of water energy. And that's saying, push, put pause for a second. You've got the I Ching's already kind of given you an idea of what the month is going to look like. So it's fairly positive. But there's a little bit of work. And this is that inner work of making sure the ego is in check, making sure you've got the things that you need and this first week god source divine is coming in saying what is it that we what can we do to support you in your mission your goals and your dreams harming none with you know positivity winning out you have to have both so the negative is there to help sh point you in the right direction but this first week is about checking in on yourself and seeing what do i need and how can i work with those tools so your second week is the ascended master yogananda and rhodonite it's empowered service i step into my rightful spiritual place with dignity reverence and grace my higher purpose is empowered by the divine my connection to the light is strong unwavering and enduring so much so that my trust in its power and presence is unconditional i accept the invitation from the universe to step up into a new level of expression and fulfillment of my higher purpose I open my heart to the divine harvest of blessings pouring into my soul. I recognize the readiness within myself as well. 
So this is saying the first week you're checking it. You're seeing where you're at. You're working with some of those uh, subtle emotions that no one wants to talk about. The second week is now you're putting things into practice because when you've done the inner work, it allows your next steps to be empowered. You're working with that first week, the Lady of the Lake, that divine feminine energy. She is offering you what tools do you need? What are you missing? This week is now you have the tools or maybe they're coming in this week. How are you putting them into work? So you've you've got the ideas, you've done some of that inner soul searching, but how are you putting that into practice in your everyday life? It, you know, you don't have to go out and beat the drum of, I'm doing spiritual work. Again, it, it reveals itself in the ethics and morals, but we're talking high ethics and high morals. These are spiritual principles, not just everyday, you're not stealing from work principles, which are important, don't get me wrong. But when we're looking at these types, we're talking about a very high frequency energy, a very spiritual based concept. Your message from source is the water oracle, psychic abilities, acting on visions. It is destined. What's coming up this month is stuff that is going to be highly beneficial. It's things that you have been working on and putting into play or putting towards this goals for a while now. This month is definitely a time to, when the opportunities arise, if you are feeling comfortable in what you're doing, jump into that unknown. This is the, the month, this week especially, the second week is saying, follow your intuition, follow your inner guidance, pay attention to your dreams, and pay attention to what the angels bring forward. Because they're bringing, they kept showing me feathers and radio stations like having 444 on the, um, when you look at your radio on the car, or things like that. But pay attention to those because that's when you're going to get those little divine blips. Or it could be just a reminder to, are you actually paying attention? Are you being aware? Are you living in the now? Because that kind of energy is going to be hugely beneficial in the second week. So our lesson or challenge from the tarot is number 20, Major Arcana. So these are our big life lessons. And that is renewal with Archangel Jeremiah. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. This is just the reminder to always check in. As you go through this week, you're not just going with the flow. You're kind of directing traffic, and you have to keep checking in. Is my ego in check? Am I heading in the right direction? Is my vibe still in alignment with what I'm working on? Because there will be times when you're heading full bore down a road, and all of a sudden you get that gut feeling like, oops, something's wrong here. i got to stop. And keeping track of those self-assessments and paying attention to those little details are what's really going to help direct you through this month. Again, it's going to be a good month for fire. Everything's lined up for that. The renewal is saying everything is beneficial. Everything's going in the right direction. Make sure you're checking in to make sure that you're not just flying headlong down the road because you're not paying attention. Make sure that you're the one driving the car and not just pushing your foot on the gas pedal sitting on your hands. So your second or your third week, we have Archangel Metatron and Clear Quartz. So this week's just straight up power. I embrace the opportunity to explore a healthy relationship with my personal power. This supports my spiritual journey to fulfill my destiny for the benefit of all beings. I choose to express my power in a way that is respectful, merciful, and kind towards myself and all others. I utilize my growing power to awaken my boldness and confidence. I recognize the inevitability of my divine fulfillment. This third week, you are going to see the results of the work that you are doing, is what I'm hearing. You have Metatron coming in, who is an angel that works with your spiritual ascension, your spiritual growth, and you have Quartz Crystal, which is really just straight up saying, we are here to support and empower wherever it is needed. This third week, the second week, you were checking in, but you were getting focused on what you were going on. This week, you're putting the gestalt behind it. You're putting the oomph into whatever it is that you've been building. This third week, really keep your feet on the ground because things are going to be moving and you don't want to get too up in your um, ego and emotions because that could be could cause a little bit of a hiccup in the path. But as long as you're staying focused and grounded and you're holding those high ethics and high morals, and I don't know why they keep saying that phrase, um, then this third week is going to be some serious movement forward. Things You're going to see things actually settling in is what I'm hearing. Again, that's going to be different for everybody, so <laughs> take what works. Um, your message from source is the Atlantis card. Keep big visions, stay in alignment as you grow. 
again, we're going with this concept of massive growth and speedy movement in this third week. And it's just saying, reiterating, make sure you keep your feet on the ground, stay focused. If you start to have that ego, like, ah, look what I got going on, check yourself. That's not healthy. And bring that back down because, yes, look what's going on. Sources blessing me. Look at the people supporting me. How can I use this to help other people? By my example, by my honesty, by my integrity, these are the things that I want to project. And that is the energy that they're calling for this third week. They're not saying, again, it's not bad. It's saying, just check it. If your ego starts getting there saying, oh, I did this all on my own. I didn't need nobody. Yes, you did. Don't do that. So <laughs> um, just some things to think about as you're going through the week. And let's take a peek at your third week's mess, uh, lesson or challenge. We have the six of earth, gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. Don't forget your bills. Don't forget to take care of the things that are everyday stuff uh, this third week it's going to be a little bit what i'm hearing is intense in the best possible way uh you could have it an intense week but it's also saying don't forget the everyday you still have some things to take care of and when you do that understand that you are investing you're paying a bill which you could look at it as i'm investing my hard-earned time and money into taking care of something else which is going to be returned as other financial boons three seven or ten fold so it's a way to also train your brain that as you're giving out you're receiving that much more um, each time so good little message there is what I was hearing so let's take a peek at our fourth week for really <laughs> apparently the deck's got a good card coming up because it's not giving me the cards yet so let's just go ahead and recut that and start over give me one card there we go and we have the Ascended Master Helios and the Stone Citrine, again tying more into that fire energy. Your time to shine this fourth week. I accept life's loving invitation to shine with a cosmic soul felt, and you can say this out loud, yes, I accept. My inner light is powerful enough to contribute healing, radiance, peace, and higher understanding into this world. I am a brave and bright soul. I am supported and surrendered. I have the power of light and love within me i give myself permission to delight and rest in the luminous sanctuary of my divine connection i am the light and that's a good mantra for this fourth week is i am the light i am love i am expansive heartfelt energy with citrine and the ascended master helios this again the sun is shining on you the I Ching talked about the sun a couple times and this fourth week first week was all about checking in with yourself the second week was using the tools that were provided the third week the power is there and you're moving forward in this fourth week the, everyone else is going to be way more noticing of what it is that you are getting what it is that is you are creating you may have people wanting to learn from you great time to share some of that information and this is also a time of growth spiritually as well because you've got that positive vibe energy going on this um, fourth week and that is definitely going to be setting you up for success through the week but with citrine you also and it's weird because citrine is a very bright yellow suns type stone but it has this weird ability to enhance dreams especially positive ones so it's a good thing to keep a uh, dream journal this week especially and just check in on it in this fourth week so your message from source is a selkie beautiful creatures uh come out of hiding embrace who you really are a selkie is an interesting creature because it's a human seal crossover it's kind of like a shapeshifter but not in the way you would think uh, there's a lot of lore about them but the thing with the selkie is it's always an indicator of being true to yourself and tapping into your inner beauty it's not about painting the the face even though the inside's rotting it's saying show the beauty of who you are allow your inner light to shine and when you have these two and these two cards are really being loud right now you've got this beautiful sun energy saying everything is shining people are paying attention and in this card with the selkie it's saying because they're paying attention 
don't be fake. Don't let your ego get in the way. Shine from the inside. Allow your heart to open up. Allow the smile to be a genuine smile. Allow your friendship to be deepened by this energy this fourth week because those who are already friends with you, this is a good time to kind of be appreciative with them and to grow in that friendship is what I'm hearing. So your lesson or challenge is the ten of water and a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Just because you have some new people joining the team this month doesn't mean you have any reason to neglect the others. This card is saying everything's been going good. You may have some new people coming in. Spend some time with the family. Spend some time with the friends who've been there supporting you. If you run a business, um, the employees who've been loyal over time, this is a good time to appreciate them in some way, shape, or form. This fourth week, that's that shining from the outside, opening your heart, showing who you really are. Just because there's some new people around doesn't mean that the rest of them aren't as important or in some cases more important because they're the ones who stood with you and supported you through this entire time. So let's take a peek at our fifth week. This deck is being really stubborn today. Let's cut it a couple times and make it stop doing that. <laughs> it's probably because there's a good message coming forward. That's usually when this deck decides to be a little bit testy. It's because the right card hasn't popped into the right spot yet. Okay, so we have Ascended Master Kathumi and Moss Agate, Sacred Ecosystem. Okay. <laughs> uh, the universe provides me with spiritual energy and chariz charismatic magnetism to attract all beings in need of my light so I can fulfill my highest destiny as a healing presence within this world. I accept my place in the greater divine scheme, embracing supportive connections in the spiritual world and in the material world. With understanding that my fulfillment and the fulfillment of all beings is divinely intertwined, I give myself permission to plug in and receive. When we work with energy work, and those of us who work with energy, understand that when you are working as a divine channel to bring in healing energy for another body, another person, another soul, you actually get healed yourself. This card with the Ascended Master Kathumi and Moss Agate are saying this last week is the culmination of everything that you have done this month. As you have grown, you have raised others. When you have stepped out with integrity, you have shown others the path to being a gracious person. When the sun shone on you and you were able to share that light with others, it allowed others to see and witness and, and, and uh, emulate you in the fact of keeping the ego in check and allowing yourself to grow. This fifth week is just saying, the divine acknowledges the work that you have done, the world has acknowledged, and now you have a deeper understanding of your place in society as a whole, in your family, and in your friend group. That doesn't mean that they didn't already know. If This is that reminder energy that's coming in saying, see, you matter. You matter to a lot more people than sometimes we think, especially in today's world where everything is on you know, these <laughs> screens that we stare at. This last week of October is saying, enjoy the fact that you have the real world. This is the week where reconnect with the physical, reconnect with those closest to you. That was kind of the theme in the fourth week, but this week, the God Source Divine is saying, you've done really well this month. Enjoy some downtime. Doesn't mean you have to quit. Doesn't mean you're not going to be still running, but enjoy that self-care moments that just taking a bath, going out to dinner with friends, spending a game night where you just have music playing in the background, no TV, no computer, whatever it is. Just doing things like that are ways to recharge this last week. <laughs> Your message from Source is the ripple effect. Part of something bigger details are taken care of. Each action that you do, especially the positive ones, ripple out. You living an authentic, genuine life, being true to yourself, being true to others, it is going to ripple out and shine to everyone that comes in contact with you. It may be a customer that you see one time and you never see them again, but how you responded in that moment could change their day. They could be having a rough day. Your friendliness could make them be like, oh, you know what? Life's not so bad. Or it could be helping that coworker out who's struggling and just by being supportive and a listening ear as they're 
dealing with things, it's going to ripple out. The goodness that you do today is going to ripple out um, ad infinium through the universe. So definitely know where you stand this month and allow that light to shine out from you. Your lesson or challenge from the tarot is number 19 with Archangel Uriel. It is the sun, happy outcomes, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, having confidence in yourself. This is a reminder, not so much a lesson or a challenge, really. It's saying, watch where you how much you've done this month. Pay attention to the details. The sun is shining on you, fire. You are the sun in a minor form on this planet. You are here to warm. You are here to help guide. You are here to light the way for others and their path and their journey. This month for our fire family is definitely a very positive one. There's going to be a lot going on is what I'm what, what we've seen here. There's going to be a lot of movement, but it's going to be movement in very positive ways. And it could be minor movement. But the outcome from it and the outflow from what you're doing, fire, is going to be massive in its effect. So, and you may not get to see the effect. That's the bummer of some of this, is when you put out those ripples, you may not see that tidal wave that someone else is benefiting. But it's because of your work and your impressions and your actions that those other people are growing from it as well. So with that, we will wrap this video up. Fire, have an awesome month. This month looks really good for you. Um, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and impressions. And I will see you guys in the next video.